We are done with the mapping techniques. And before we move on to the cache replacement, let's compare all the mappings. Now let's compare all the mappings. Let's start with the direct mapping. So when we know the physical address, the initial few bits or the least significant few bits will be the block offset. Next few bits will be the cache index. That's basically the line number. And the remaining most significant bits will be the tag bits. Now coming to the associative mapping, again initial few bits will be the block offset and the rest of the bits are taken as the tag bits. Now coming to the set associative mapping, again first few bits will be the block offset. The next few bits will be the set index and the remaining are the tag bits. And now when we compare the direct mapping with set associative mapping, we will see that the set index is actually smaller than the cache index by few bits. These few bits are nothing but the log k, where k is number of lines inside a set. Here there are few points to note. First one, the physical address bits and the block offset bits are actually same in all the three mappings. Next, from the diagram we can make out the tag bits are highest in associative mapping, the next is set associative and the least in the direct. So I can write it as tag bit size will be highest in associative mapping, the next is set associative mapping and the least is direct mapping. And third, if we compare the tag bits of direct mapping and set associative mapping, we can make out tag bits of set associative mapping is actually tag bits of direct mapping plus the log k. I hope you are able to understand this from the diagram. This is an important observation. Make a note of this in your book. Alright, with this, let's solve one more question. This is a question asked in gate 2017 for one mark. A cache memory unit with a capacity of n words and block size b words is to be designed as a direct mapped cache. The length of the tag field is 10 bits. If the cache unit is now designed as a 16-way set associative cache, the length of the tag field is. So they have given the data of direct mapping cache and they are asking you to convert it to set associative mapping cache. For this, let me draw the diagram. So in the direct mapping, let us assume this is a physical address and least significant few bits will be the cache address and the rest will be the tag bits. And this they have given it to be 10. Now for set associative mapping, we already know the tag bits will be greater than direct mapping and that extra few bits are nothing but the log k. So I can add this as tag bits in set associative mapping is equal to tag bits in direct mapping plus log k. This is 10 plus log 16. So 10 plus 4 that is equal to 14 bits. So therefore the option is D. Mm -hmm.